Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to add YouTube live stream videos for co streaming. You can do live stream from YouTube videos such as Game Awards or any other approved live streams. So that's what I'm going to explain. So, for example, I'm searching uh, USC News Live. This is for tutorial purpose. I'm going to use this. So, ABC News Live is there. Watch Sky News Live. Okay, I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to live stream this because already this is in live. So copy, copy that. Go to OBS Studio and I'm going to create a scene. Go streaming. Okay. And I'm going to add the sources. So here, right, we need to install this VLC video source. I have a video how to install VLC video source in OBS Studio. You can refer that video. I will be mentioning in the description so you can take that video. Once you install right VLC media player, you can see this options VLC video source. So we need to click on this and here, right? You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to keep it VLC video source. You OK. And here, right? Directly, we can add the URL. So just click on this plus button, add path or URL. So we can add it. Click on that, paste it here. YouTube URL which you want to live stream and give OK and give OK. Super cool. So video is added. I'm going to transform into full screen, fit to screen. In order to enable the sound right, you need to choose this desktop audio, go to properties and choose your speaker. Super cool. Sound is coming, there is no output. So in order to enable right, go to settings. You need to select this VLC video source and click on the settings, go to advanced audio properties. Here right, audio monitoring is off. That's why we are not able to hear the sound. So we need to enable it. Monitor and output, select it. Super cool, now the sound is coming. Now I'm able to hear the sound. Super cool. Now the sound is coming. Fine. So now I'm able to hear the sound. Okay. The second way, the same thing you can add it through VLC Media Player. So in order to do it perfectly, what you need to do is I'm going to remove this VLC Video Source. Before adding new VLC video source, what you need to do is open VLC media player and go to media and here come to stream and here go to network and paste it, paste the URL, paste the URL and click on stream. We need to select stream. Then it should be next and next and next and click on stream. Going to launch a military hotline with China next year. Perfect, video is streaming now. What we need to do is we need to save this playlist as M3U file or XPSF file. So go to media and here, right, go to save playlist to file. On desktop, I'm going to save it. You can save as type like XSPF or M3U or M3U8. These three, you can use it. I'm going to use this .m3u8. So I'm going to name test YouTube live. So I named it. Save as type should be like this and click on save. This is saved. I'm going to close it. And before that, you need to verify which track the audio is enabled. So go to audio and check this audio track. This is number audio track two. So track two is selected. Okay, I'm closing it. Coming back to OBS, I'm going to add this VLC video source. Click on that and give OK. And here, right, go to add button, add files, go to desktop. Our saved file will be here. If it is not found, you need to choose this playlist files or you need to choose all files. So playlist files is there. And here we need to choose this test YouTube live, which we saved and selecting it open. 
and the audio track was 2 so you need to select audio track 2 but we will test it so give ok super cool so video is added here and here I am going to stretch to screen or even if you want you can minimize it control is it okay fine but there is no sound so you need to enable this VLC video source settings advanced audio properties the monitor was off so we need to enable it enable this monitor and output close it but still there is no sound there is no audio even the right speaker has been selected here properties the right speaker has been selected and there is no audio what you need to do is just close your OBS and reopen it so I am going to close reopen OBS this time you should hear the sound but still there is no sound means we need to change the track so close it because in VLC media player audio track was 2 so double click this you just scroll down you can see this audio track I am going to select the audio track 2 give ok but still there is no sound again we have to close the OBS and reopen it closing it reopen the OBS studio about it. More viral particles in fine aerosol. Super cool. See, this time we are able to listen the sound. If audio is not coming, you have to verify VLC media player audio track. So, this is the same video, right? Playing and go to me audio and audio track. Track 2 is selected. That's why we have selected here. Scroll down audio track 2. If it is 3, you should mention 3. We have to map the audio track which is from VLC media player. So here is a track 2, here is a track 2. That's it friends, is the way you can add YouTube live videos for co-streaming. And I am using this video for tutorial purpose. So that's it friends, hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedbacks in the video form. Thank you, bye and take care.